Hello everyone and welcome back to Road to the Top. This is episode 17 or 18, I believe. Uh, but let's get into it here. We got almost 2,000 ELO. Hopefully we'll get 2,000 ELO this episode. But this is going to be a little bit more of a chill, shorter episode. Um, because I don't have much time. But we'll try it. Oh. Oh. Okay. See, lava and badline is so weird. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> okay, so for this episode, because last episode of UHC Games uh, did not receive as much positive feedback as I assumed it would. Uh, I really thought that people would be mature about it because multiple times in the video I said... I hope you guys can be mature about this, but this guy's ghosting really hard. But to no avail, we received a bunch of really immature comments, and it didn't even seem like these immature comments were from young people. It seemed people from like the pop PvP community and people that were kind of known were like making stupid comments about it. It just kind of pissed me off a little bit. Oh, this guy uh, is interesting. Alright, hopefully we can drop him here. Okay. So, yeah. And it's just kind of appalling to see that happen. Because people, the comments that people were making completely contradicted the points I made in the video. Like, they didn't make any sense because I addressed, like, most of the points in their comments in the video. Like, like oh, you're only doing this because you're a virgin. I was like, okay, yeah, that's exactly what I said in the video. So they, like... I made that choice, like, I could, I don't want to sound like a dick here, but like, I've had the opportunity to not be a virgin, and I've said no, because of the reasons I stated in the video, so like, I don't understand why people continue to ridicule me. Oh. All right, and I, I'm a, I'm pretty comfortable with myself. I'm pretty comfortable with my personality and like what I say, so I'm going to defend myself. I'm going to stick with what I say, and I feel like everything in that video was good and fine. Like there was, I I said that I had a young audience, and I understand that I had a young audience, and I think that. Oh. I think that regardless of them being young, it's good to be mature, like, past your age. And something like that was not, like, somebody said in the comments, like, this is something their parents should be telling them. It's like, oh, oh, oh come on. Okay. And uh, in rebuttal to that, it's, it's like, what I said there was not, like, something that you'd ever get taught in sex ed. It's nothing that your parents need to teach you. It's it's a moral thing that um, I think that people need to know. And it's not something that's, like, hugely, like, majority. Like, oh. Oh, he's laggy. Ooh, man. He is persistent as well. I don't know how I didn't kill him there. Come here. Alright. Hmm. This guy is interesting to fight. I'm also, once again, very rusty, because I, I go on these, these weak, like, weak times where I don't, I don't ever play, like, a, a week of time where I don't play Minecraft, like, at all, and I come back, like, expecting to be, like, as good as I was before, and it's frustrating, but sometimes that's how it works. I don't know why he gapped and then proceeds to, like, bow, that's not smart. Wasting absorption. 
Oh, okay. Come here. Alright. We got we got some good hits in there. I like that. I like that. So it it just kinda I, I don't hold age against you, so I feel like you can be mature regardless of your age and you can you can take on mature topics and take them on uh, directly and not in an immature way. But it seems like a lot of the people think that they can speak for others and thought that um, just because somebody's young, they don't get to hear about mature topics that are definitely a part of life that majority of people probably more than majority i don't even know what more than majority is uh will experience at some point in their lives this guy's a 2000 okay we might lose we'll see did he yap yeah he did so let's bone down okay now i'm gonna gap now he's gonna try and bow. Come here. I'm gonna be annoying to this guy because I don't feel like my aim in melee is too good right now. I hate that too, just that lava spam. There it is again. I think he's out though now. But yeah, he's trying to lava and he can't. That's good. We got him out of lava. I think we are beating him in melee though, whenever we fight him in melee. Oh, now he's trying to play defensive. Now he's out of lava. He's trying to get the same health as me. Which isn't going to happen, I don't think. We'll see though. There's a gap. He shouldn't have done that. He should not have done that. Ah, he's like one heart. Okay. Now, I'll give him a taste of his own medicine. No, I won't. Alright, we got him. So we're almost at that 2k elo. And after we get 2k elo, I think we're going to end off the episode. I know it will be pretty short. Oh my god. What is with this guy? He's very laggy. He's very laggy. Makes me so nervous when people are laggy. I can't straight line them very well. Is he hacking or is he lagging? I think he might... I don't know. It doesn't matter. That was, Those are some weird-ass hits. Whatever it was. Okay. 1993. Once it gets... What? What are you doing? Once it gets higher up in, the, in ELO, it's going to be very annoying to play. Because we're going to get one ELO no matter how good they are. So, we will want to fight the lesser people, but it won't happen. Ooh, ooh. Come on, come on. He's missing, like, all his rods. Ooh, man, how do you feel about that strafe? Oh, okay. Oh, so that's 2k ELO. Should we end it off here? Let's go one more match and then we'll stop. 50 Shades of Dante. Alright. Oh my god.
<laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. We're at 2006 ELO. I will see you guys in the next episode. Also, I hope you enjoyed that UHC on Air Season 3 montage by my, my Doza. It took a while to get organized. But see you guys later.